Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. It's uh, mid-afternoon on Sunday and it is an overcast uh, day here. It's been kind of a lazy weekend for me and I don't have a problem with that at all. I've just uh, done a lot of nothing this weekend. Watched a whole lot of YouTube videos. Learned a little bit more about my GoPro. Gonna be shooting more with my GoPro here soon. Got some uh, video projects coming up where I need to be a little bit, have a little more expertise with my GoPro. I haven't been watching this. Funny, I don't ever participate in drama, but every once in a while I have to just, out of amusement, to entertain myself, watch a little bit of the drama that goes on in this uh, high-carb, vegan, healthy world of ours. <laughs> and every once in a while, people try to suck me in. People don't quite get it that you're not going to suck me in. I just don't, I don't do that stuff. I just don't um, have the time for the back and the forth, and I just don't care enough. I mean, I have a, I have a respect. You can have your opinion. I can have mine. And it's all good. We don't have to agree with each other on everything. <laughs> but anyhow, yeah, it's been a pretty good weekend. Uh, just uh, recharging the batteries. Going to do a few more things this afternoon. And then I got some um, good dinner I'm going to make tonight. Have some uh, stuff. I think I'm going to go sort of uh, Mexican. But anyhow, what is the number one reason that I'm a raw vegan? Um, and, you know, this came about, too, like watching people, like everybody wants to, uh, you know, I, can't, I think I'm the dumb kid in the class. Everybody wants to get into these deep discussions over the science and splitting of the hairs and why this and, like, complicated. And <laughs> I like to just keep it simple. And the number one reason why I'm raw vegan, the number one reason I should say I'm raw vegan right now, is because of the way I feel. It's very simple. There's no trick to that, or maybe that sounded too simple. You were expecting something uh, miraculous, but yeah, that's the that's the reason I do I do what I'm doing right now because I feel good. I um, I expect on this journey, and I think I will always be now. I, now, granted, I'm realistic. I know that um, in our earlier phases on this journey that we see the progress and we see changes more rapidly and as we go on and on and on they're going to be a little bit slower and they're going to be a little bit more subtle but i always want to be moving forward i always want to be feeling even if it's just a little bit i want to be uh, honing things in i want to be feeling a little bit better a little bit stronger all the time and so far on the path that i've been going and the way that i've been doing things i have continued to grow grow as far as you know like feel better feel like I've got a better grip on this thing now well that am I saying I'm raw vegan that's why I, I wanted to do this video for two reasons so number one is like because I think sometimes I talk enough about the cooked food people don't think I take the raw food part of it very seriously and I do um, I'm mostly a raw vegan um, I eat cooked food when I go back to the States and I'm even already thinking about the trip which is one month from today and um, it's the spring. It'll be the spring. I, I gave myself a little bit more leeway last time because it was, it was the holidays and it was cold. But this is going to be the spring, so I think I'm going to do a cleaner, a cleaner trip when I come to the States this next time. Um, I'll still do a few of my favorites that I like to have while I'm there, but uh, overall I'm not going to eat as much cooked food and I'm going to eat a little bit cleaner cooked food while I'm there. But the reason I got into that about the cooked food is, is, and I'm saying that I am raw vegan for right now. I'm high raw for right now. Um, I don't know if that will change down the road, but the, yeah, just to keep it simple, the only way I can tell you is I just feel better every day the way that I eat. Now, mine is probably, not, when I eat cooked food, I don't necessarily want to compare myself to somebody doing raw till four because when I eat my cooked food, it's just kind of like, well, I know I'm in the States for two weeks and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to eat this uh, because I don't eat this very much. Like my potatoes, I eat way more potatoes. Like sometimes I'll just sit down and eat a three or five pound bag of potatoes. Not the greatest way to eat cooked food if you're going to eat cooked food. I know there's a lot of the Route of Four people out there that um, make, you know, um, what I would consider more balanced meals, you know, like maybe you would have a couple of uh, steamed sweet potatoes, some steamed uh, broccoli and carrots and what have you in a big salad. So it'd be a little bit more balanced than just me eating these big bulks of stuff. But I just have the feel right now that the raw vegan is working for me. Now people have done raw vegan for many years, a lot more years than me, and they have had to adjust that or all of a sudden they found they have been deficient in something something that's why i'm always trying to plug in these holes before it gets to a problem um, but 
right now raw vegan is working for me and that's just the that's kind of the point about this video is not so much me uh, preaching the raw vegan or how if raw vegan is working for me it should work for you but that should be the criteria everybody should be judging their lifestyle on how do you feel how do you feel based how do you feel uh, compared to how you felt six months ago how do you feel compared to the way you were eating before you came to this lifestyle do you have enough experience to kind of uh, compare things a little bit do you can you tell the difference you feel when you're high raw or fully raw as uh, opposed to eating cooked food um, I, th I think for me it that the raw just keeps it more simple for me I like I tell you all the time I can't jump on that bandwagon and I'm, I'm around a lot of people and I a lot of people that actually respect how they think and respect their knowledge but they just seem to think it's got to be the raw I just I don't have a problem with the cooked food I more stay away from it for me because I just think that the, the way that I eat the cooked food is not necessarily like most now, I don't know. Maybe I could regulate that if I really wanted to work on it and if I really wanted to try to do a, a Raw Till 4 type program, I could just be a little bit more balanced and try doing some more reasonable cooked food instead of the way that I normally do it. But I just don't see any reason to um, tamper with what I'm doing right now as good as I feel. I think when I, I think, and, and you know, I've watched a couple of videos on intuitive eating recently. Some people for it some people against it but i just don't think there's anything that can be faulted about listening to your body now what i mean i mean really listening to your body you can't just kind of uh try to interpret the signs your body give you um, in any way what have you but you have to kind of open your mind to receiving the interpretation your body's given to you about the whole big picture did that get just a little strange there? Sounded a little strange to my ear, but I, yeah, I guess that does make sense. In other words, you don't want your body, like, you have to have a little experience to be able to know what your body's telling you. Because, you know, if you're not real, if you're kind of new to trying to listen to your body and finding that little intuition within you, um, you know, in the beginning, it can give you, it can give you wrong signals, mixed signals, and you, or either you're just interpreting these signals the wrong way. Um, I just know on my two, and I, like, between now and between two and a half years and three years, three years in June, I just know that I keep feeling a little bit better. I keep plugging in a few more holes. I keep, um, I'm moving forward. When I don't feel I'm moving forward or when I feel like I've actually, okay, something's not working right now, I will totally look into it. But, I, you know, people, and, and, and a lot of times, even very well intentioned and very knowledgeable people want to get into debate over things. And I'm not, I don't, you know, this body thing is a weird thing about how what you do is different than me. We can be very similar, but we have one little thing that's different, or we can have our total makeup different. Everything we do is different. Um, but I just have to believe as long as um, I'm improving, as long as my body, as I'm feeling better, as long as I'm getting stronger, as long as I'm, I'm even more active, I just feel like I'm doing the right thing. And... I think that's just something that should be that shouldn't be discounted. Sometimes, um, you know, it's all about like who has the more facts about this natural world we live in, we eat the way we eat or whatever. And and you know, there's these people out there with mad amounts of science. They're like walking encyclopedias, and they'll t they want to argue this little point that no, you shouldn't be doing this. Nope, this is how it's supposed to be. And they just don't come across as all that healthy. They're like the kid, you know, the kid, the book kid. The kid that's uh, really good in school and he can study and he can tell you all the facts, but you just don't, um, but if you look at the application, they just are not a shining example of somebody that's going to really sway you in a direction. That's why, you know, I've told you before, like, I'm very visual at the people I look at. And I'm not talking about the vanity stuff just like, ooh, she's got nice curves, or ooh, he's buff, I want to be ooh, like him, I bet he gets lots of girls. But I'm just talking about a healthy look. I, I tend to take more advice from people that look healthy, that just give me something, that, and I can't exactly tell you exactly what my criteria are for looking at it. It's just, I know when I look at somebody, I know when I look at somebody talking about health and lifestyle, when I look at them and say, 
okay, something clicks there. I can listen to this person. They are exuding the kind of health that I would aspire to have, so I listen to this person. Then I have other people that they just sound like scientists, man. They can spit that information like that, and I look at this person and say, well, uh, I'm not really inspired by their look. You know, they don't give off that glow. Those eyes aren't laser beaming at me. They just don't. I'm sorry. They know the jargon, but it doesn't necessarily seem to be working all that much magic for them. And that's just me. That's not me judging them. That's just me filtering information, you know, always filtering information. And um, where was I going with that part? Oh, but, but information still, it doesn't matter. I like to mix in reading the science, learning the science. So it's not, I don't want anybody to think it's just one of these woo-woo things where, ooh, I'm just like, you know, grabbing a peach and this peach speaks to me and I'll eat the peach. No, I'm just talking about trying to use your body um, as the human experiment and listening to that. Um, I'm always going, I think I said this in a video one time and I'm going to repeat it again. I don't care how scientific your knowledge is, I don't care how much you know from books and, and uh, science and uh, videos and what have you, I am always going to value how I feel over somebody else's knowledge. And I feel great right now. Now the one thing, and I'm going to wrap this one up, this isn't going to be a long winding video, but um, as I always say though, I'm open. I'm open to change. I'm open to the fact that just because this is working very well for me right now does not mean that I'm locked and loaded in. And uh, how I'm eating right now is how I'm going to be eating 20 years from now. Who knows, seven years into this, um, I might find something crashes and I figure out I have to make a major adjustment because I've been missing this or I, ha I've, I need to be doing this, what have you. But for right now, I'm raw vegan and I most, that's how I mostly live and I don't say that because of the label, it's just a description, you know, people are going to tell you, you know, it's just kind of giving you a where I'm at at the time right now. Um, so in the end, you know, do your thing. Do your thing for your reasons. Don't be raw vegan because I'm raw vegan or because of anything I tell you. I don't want you to be raw vegan because of anything I tell you. Be raw vegan because the information that you get from a bunch of different sources makes sense to you. Um, be raw vegan because you've actually done it, you're doing it, and it feels the best for you. Or be raw till four because you've done raw vegan. And now I would say on any of these, always try to give your best. You know, I think a lot of times though people do raw vegan and they go to another lifestyle, but they didn't exactly do a solid, didn't do raw vegan really solid. They weren't getting in enough calories, they weren't getting in enough uh, mix of things, they weren't getting enough greens to balance the fruits, blah, blah, blah. So whether you're doing raw to four, the starch solution, raw vegan, try to do each one of them so you have some real comparison. Try to do each one of them as fully as possible and try to get them all as balanced as possible and get as, all the nutrients you need in there so you will have a fair comparison. But right now, for right now, I'm raw vegan. Um, I'm still never going to preach it. I'm not going to thunder from the pulpit, you know, raw is law. I'll let some of the others uh, do that for you, but I do put a lot of value in the raw living foods. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel. Uh, please share it with your friends, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week coming up. Um, we're Oh, today's the first day of March that I'm making this, so... Uh, we're really close into spring. I know some of you up very way, way north, even in Canada and the very northern parts of the United States and probably some places in Europe. You still got a ways to go before you get to summer, but it should start warming up a little bit here soon. Hope so, anyway. Anyhow, y'all guys have a great week. Peace.